1960 emerges as the most disastrous earthquake year of modern times. Even today, the images, the impact of that 1960 quake in Chile have the power to shock. Thousands are dead. One quarter of the nation, over two million homeless, whole cities have been reduced to shambles. The 1960 quake, about 10 times greater than today's, shook Chile for 11 horrifying minutes and sent shockwaves around the world, triggering destructive tsunamis. 15 hours later, a 35-foot wave smashed into Hilo on the big island of Hawaii, more than 6,000 miles away. 1,600 houses destroyed, 185 people dead or missing. A day later, a deadly 18-foot wave slammed into Japan. Tsunamis swept across the Pacific from the Philippines to California. Along the California coast, it swept in at an angle, ripping coastal installations and causing heavy damages. It wasn't the worst earthquake ever, but it was the worst ever recorded. For the first time, a quake's tremendous power and reach were picked up by sensors, newly placed around the globe to monitor Cold War nuclear testing by the U.S. and Soviets. When you have a big enough earthquake, it releases enough energy to set the whole earth ringing almost like a bell, and that rang for days after the, the 1960 earthquake. That 1960s earthquake had another impact. It convinced quake-threatened cities from Chile to California to toughen up building codes and beef up tsunami warning systems. These black and white images, the start of a new age of earthquake science and preparedness. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.